Stopped in uh, Nanaimo, pick up a few things that I was missing. Um, I wanted an extra Nalgene. This one was 17 freaking dollars. I think I paid that much for one in Hawaii that was like touristy. And I don't know where that one is. Uh, another camping cup because I couldn't find mine. This one seems nice. It has like a lid. Check this out. That entire pocket has one of those big MSR fuel canisters in it it's uh i could have fit it in my box easily but i didn't really feel like taking out my box in the parking lot and i have to do it anyways when i get to um ferry terminal so on the ferry i mean i heard a honk i wasn't really looking that way i heard a honk looked and uh, the car was like on the wrong side of the road in the left turning lane. Like how stupid, come on. Oh my goodness, they made my day. And we barely made it. Time is three o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeet. Off the island we go. I guess I'm technically not on the island anymore because I'm over water right now. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. like that we're no longer on an island we are now on the mainland the lot is over I hate crossing the ferry it costs way too much for such a small package we have made it to the border approximately why is my right eye kind of liquidy You guys were just visiting the island? Yeah, we live on Orcas Island. Orcas Island? Nice. What's that like? Quiet. Quiet? Oh, uh, what's it called? Alvor Desert? Made it into the States. They, or the guy opened up my box and maybe take up or half off my jacket and looked at my backpack, which didn't happen before, but the last time I also had to go inside because I asked if I was bringing fruits or vegetables and they said I was bringing broccoli because a man's got to eat when he's camping, you know? And uh, big mistake, they, they took away my broccoli. Uh, but that was, that was in 2016, um, which was my last trip, I, I guess. Um, so this this time, uh, they didn't even ask if I had any broccoli or anything, you know? I, uh, they just asked what I had in the stuff and he looked at the top box. He had his, I heard a click and he, he went behind me of course. And uh, he had his baton ready to swing. I should be able to get to a nice camp location. Uh, it's a beautiful night too. Uh, I don't know how hot or cold it is. But I feel like I should be able to test out the old hammock. Super stoked. Big screw up. Uh, there's a gate back there. I should have recorded this. So, dumb me, closed the gate fully. I was like, hey, there's magnets there just to keep the door from being closed. But no, they're super high powered magnets. Somebody, how I got in was somebody left it like slightly open. So, I'm sure that's what all the other dual sport riders do. And then, Dumb me closed it, tried to open it, and it was just solid. You wouldn't get that open with a freaking crowbar. So I either have to guess the code, look for somebody that wrote the code on the box, or enduro ride my way out of this place, either at the gate. That'd be a nice little camperoni. 
Uh, or go find another gate. I think my Google Maps had a few ins and outs of this place. But with taking, the only way I'll be able to get out is with bushwhacking while having all of my gear off. So why didn't I just leave it the way I found it? That's big oof. Big oof. It's because I'm hungry and tired. I haven't eaten since noon. There's some damn nice scenery. However, there's a lot of bugs too. Some nice scenery. I just gotta find a spot that you can see it from. Got off the bike because I thought I was in gear. Sure enough, went to accelerate and I wasn't in gear. So big oof on my part. That's a nice spot too. I just kind of want a view. I'm gonna get myself lost if I keep doing this shit. It's harder than you think going to a new foreign place, somewhere that you've never even ridden before, and trying to find like a good spot. Like these are these are nice spots, but I know that there's lots of bears because I've seen shit multiple times on the. Uh, the path here. They do like to shit on paths. I don't know, I'm just going to a dead end really. Let's not drop the bike here too. So kind of bummed that I locked myself into this recreation area. And I'm also kind of worried about bears. Let's just check it out. What time is it? Eight. So sun's going down pretty quick. I'll turn off the camera and get back to you guys because I gotta save, save footage. This is it. Less bugs over here. Decently level campground. Nice view. I don't think anybody will fucking come th through here in the middle of the fucking night. If they do, they have a headlight. Got the camera there taking a um, time lapse. Check out this freaking view. Look at that. Isn't that just the nicest? It's kind of cloudy to the north there. First night on the road. Um, I'm going to get camp set up now, so... I'll catch you guys back in a second. So, I'm waiting for the sun to just drop behind that mountain there. And the whole scene just got purple. The only downsides are there's plenty of mosquitoes, which have actually died off a little bit. And there's also lots of bear crap. And it's kind of hard to find like a nice spot with a nice view. This is the best I could come up with. And it's pretty good. Yeah, I just cooked up some some food. I was getting pretty hangry, you know. That's a wrap for day one, really. Uh, hopefully no bears come for me in the night. I got my bear spray. If they do, should be should be okay. The time lapse actually just finished, so no buggos go in there, please. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna hit the sack early, try to get out of here pretty quick. Um, excuse the ugly bug mask thing. But gotta hit the road pretty early, I'd say, and then um, try to get out of this place because I locked myself in. Idiot. Should've just left it. I'm still, that's like, so annoying. Cause now I'm gonna have to like, it's gonna be tough getting out too. 
It's a tough single track. So, yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow. Day one was a success. <laughs> Thank you.